Hello gamers, welcome to Infinite Throwbacks. This is the show where I take a look at a Disney Infinity figure, because I have so many of these. <laughs> but I will enjoy um, taking you through them. I have a lot. Um, this is a personal favorite, because obviously, it's Boba Fett. And this is episode three. So yeah, we're gonna take a look at the Fett here. We have a lot to go over. Um, so we'll not, uh, won't waste any of your time. Uh, I'll give you a 360 of degree view of Boba Fett. And he's the notorious bounty hunter who captures his prey and is known to be quite expensive in terms of, uh, I guess when you hire him, he's very pricey. So you gotta be a little bit careful with this guy because he's known to disintegrate people. Um, so yeah. He loves to kill, apparently, which is, um, edgy for Disney, I will say that, but, eh, we'll just ignore that for now. So this is Boba Fett. I actually want to take a look at his base really quickly. You can see, you can tell that he's from the original movies because he's on the Death Star base. So it's like the, you can see it's like a very reflective plastic, like shiny, so you can see him uh, when you look up. Really great. Basically, all the original characters have this, like, Leia, Vader, Han, Luke, Chewie, um, I think that's it, and Boba Fett, of course. So, they all have this shiny base, so they all belong to the Rise Against the Empire playset, or the original trilogy. So that's cool. So yes, Boba Fett is an original, like, character, so he's from the uh, OG movies, and, um, really great. Uh, I love his pose, first of all. That thing is awesome. Like, he looks very, like, in between fighting. Like, he looks almost like he's gonna kill someone. Like, snipe him. Or, like, jump on someone. Or he's almost, like, gonna crouch or run. Like, it's some, some, one of those three. He's, he's in attack mode, obviously. Um, I really love his look. Um, obviously it's kind of simple, because Disney Infinity, the style is simplified. Like, you'll notice a lot of the characters are simple looking. Um, I like that. It's charming. It's, 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 you know, recognizable, but it's not over detailed. Like, you know who it is. You know it's Boba Fett, um, which is nice. And a lot of the details are here. He's not really weathered, though. Like, he's not as worn down like his armor isn't very like scuffed up which is it's fine i don't i don't mind i think it's fine it doesn't really matter i mean it's disney infinity it's not going to really be like the most accurate thing ever which is fine i like that here's his cape you can see it's kind of green and it is torn apart because his cape has been through heck apparently and it's blowing in the wind you can see his famous jet pack there of course with his little rocket, the little rocket right there. You can see his Wookiee braid hairs right there. You can see the different pouches. He's got a little sash down here. He got some cables from his gauntlets. He's got his famous blaster rifle, EE-3 carbine laser rifle. We've got his little missile shooter, because the dart launcher, more cables. You got the Mandalorian, um, what is that called? The um, Mythosaur logo, so that's cool. And you got his helmet, of course, kind of stylized, again, to fit Infinity, but I think it works. You know who it is. You know the colors. We've got the dent on the helmet. Um, I will complain about one thing. This over here, I don't know if you can see it, if I can zoom in. Right here, these marks on his helmet, these are red, um, kind of squares. That's not really accurate. It's supposed to be yellow stripes but oh pfft, whatever we'll just go we'll just we'll just ignore that we'll, we'll just say it's a it's a li it's a liberty a creative liberty um there's his little range finder you know antenna really cool you can kind of move it not really but eh, still nice helmet looks great especially from the back really nice i like his um like his uh jumpsuit so you can see the light gray you can see his green armor, you can kind of see it, kind of, right there. Got his knee pads, 
pockets. Um, he's all good to go. And he's got his boots, of course, on the bottom here. Really, really, really rad detail. Um, in terms of the game, he is pretty powerful. Um, very much so. Um, I did also want to point out that he's voiced by D. Bradley Baker, who I believe does all the Clone Trooper voices in the Clone Wars. Not Clone Wars 2003, but the 2008 Clone Wars. So, he does all the voices for the clones. He puts on a little bit of an accent. It works. I really like it. really like his voice. He's got some great quotes. Um, and, yeah, his in terms of his powers, he's pretty cool. He's got a grappling hook. His, his um, blaster rifle is pretty powerful. He's got his uh, jetpack, which can... Um, in terms of his jetpack, he cannot fly in, his, in the playsets. So, when you put him in the Star Wars playsets, he cannot really fly... Like, he can super jump, but in the toy box, he can fly, like, in full flight, which is nice. So if you want to make him, you know, fly, then you got to go in the toy box, which is fine. That's really fun. Um, and he's got his um, rockets that can be fired. He's got a lot of great combos, and he's got some bombs. Um, really great. Um, and also, his special move is pretty cool. Um, basically... If you get it upgraded uh, farther enough, or high enough, it will actually launch um, one missile, and then that splits into multiple missiles, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, especially when you're fighting multiple enemies, so it's really nice. Um, he's a really powerful character, especially if you get him to level 20, then he really packs a punch. Um, which is cool, because you want him to, he's a legend. You know, if Boba Fett's a legend, you want him to be powerful. So, yeah. Really great. I love his animations. They're very cool. I like his colors. The colors here are, it's almost like his classic action figure, where it's like the dark, dark gray blue for most of his colors. And then he's got a little bit of light gray, a little bit of like yellow, like orange yellow. He's got like dark red um, and some green. And it looks really nice. I think the colors really complement Boa Fett here. Um, he looks classic, yet in a modern style, which is really cool. I like his pose. I, I can't get... The pose is awesome. It looks almost like he's going to shoot someone, which is really cool. And I love his quotes when he interacts with everyone. He always says... Um, he always mentions bounties, which is really nice. I think Boba Fett is one of the more edgy characters in Disney Infinity. <laughs> Because he's like a bounty hunter. So he kills people for money. So, yeah. It's a little dark for Disney. But I think they can get away with it. Because he's one of the more, like, awesome characters. Like, you know, he's very recognizable. Very beloved. Very iconic. Very well done. In terms of a figure. And um, he looks really great. He works really well, especially if you're Vader um, or Han. Like, his interactions with them are really memorable. Um, I really love this figure. This, this Boba Fett is probably my second favorite Infinity character. I have a lot of favorites, um, but Boba Fett's definitely up there. Um, also, I did get this as a gift. I believe it was an Easter gift, so that was nice. My dad kind of surprised me with that which was really really fun and uh, i've i've had so much fun playing as as boba he's just so really he's just so versatile as a character like he's just really powerful he's really well rounded he's got great attacks and this physical figure of him just looks absolutely stellar like they did a wonderful job capturing his look all the right details and he looks appropriate he looks great so I have no complaints with this figure. It's just awesome. Um, I love the Boba Fett. He's fantastic. Um, I'd recommend him, especially if you're a Boba Fett fan. Um, if you love Disney Infinity, go ahead and pick him up. If you're a big Star Wars fan, of course, uh, go ahead and buy him. Um, he, looks he works really great with all the other characters, especially the villains, because he's technically a villain. Um, but yeah, Boba Fett is fantastic. Really great addition to the Infinity lineup. Um, he looks really, um, really cool. Like, he has this really cool aura 
like you can see like a presence to him and you be him which is really great so i love boba fett in the game he's fantastic as a figure and uh, in the game and um i'd recommend him go ahead and uh pick him up if you're a fan of either infinity or boba or both um yeah i had to have this one this was like a must-have figure so really great i love the attention to detail they really gave him the best treatment i think so yeah i will see you for the next one hope you like this episode uh, let me know do you have this one do you have any of the infinities um let me know what you think of the game overall and um i will see you for the next one which will be a surprise i do not want to ruin that so i will see you next week for that and i thank you very much for watching this take care and um happy gaming